Hey guys, I'm Katie or KB Does Art and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some stairs. So go ahead and create a cube and then um, go ahead and just scale that guy to be, you know, whatever size step you kind of want. So maybe like that. So now um, I went ahead and turned on my shapes in this outliner. So um, you can see that it's listed as a cube shape. Um, you can go ahead and then go to edit delete special duplicate special option box and then here I'll reset my settings for you this is what you should see um, go ahead and change it to instance and then this is all good you can make 20 of them and then I'm gonna make it 18 degree Y axis and then if you want a gap um, you gotta change this guy so you know you can make that um, like 0.1 if you want a gap or, or something bigger. You'll see that when we do it. Um, mm -hmm. So make sure you're holding um, P cube one instead of the cube shape. Go to edit, duplicate special. Your settings should look like this. Go ahead and go to instance, change it to an 18 degree rotation. Let's do like 20 of them. I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a 0.5 maybe all right I'm gonna go a little bit higher on the gap I'm gonna do maybe we just do one which is the height of the cube yeah there we go all right so now I've got like a cool little hexagon type uh, pattern this is basically a spiral staircase um, what you could do you can go through and, you know, scale them all. You can move them. Um, there's a lot of really cool things you can do. You know, you can make them thinner because they're all separate entities. So, like, if you wanted, like, a really big staircase like that. Oh, also, you can delete, like, your original one. Um, what you can also do is you could, like, select all of these guys. And then if you're in the effects um, menu set, you can do mash, create a mash network. And then you can create like a normal staircase. So go to the mash one ID, change your ID count to 20. And then you can see we've got like kind of a cool thing going on here. You can change your distribute. Um, and then you can offset them, you know, on the Y axis or on the Z axis and make some other really cool shapes. Um, you know, either like if you need them for construction, like a pallet of wood, this, this works really well. So all you need to do is just like duplicate them and then you can offset them, you can rotate them to get you cool um, things like that. Um, this rotate Y will get you the spiral staircase. This will get you like chaotic type rotations. You can scale each of them. So um, yeah, this is really just like for you to play around with. I wanted to kind of introduce Mesh Networks because I think it's a really awesome tool, um, especially in animation and things like that. So um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And um, I'll see you guys next time for, I think we're gonna try and make like a Lego person. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Bye guys.